Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is James and continuing on with this uh, Balsa USA Smoothie 40 build. So hope everything's going good for you out there with your model building, your RC plane building and flying. Hope everything's going good. So today I'm going to be putting on the sheeting on the leading edge of the wing. There's gonna be sheeting that goes on the top and on the bottom. And this is the the sheeting stock that came with the kit. These are 24 inch, three inch, 24 inch long, three inch um, wide. I think these are 332 inch thick balsa sheets. If you are building this kit, the kit actually, or the instructions say that these are 30 inch um, long sheets and that they're two and three quarters wide. So note, take note of that. These are actually three inches by 24 inches. All right, so let's take a quick look at the instructions. So it's kind of maybe a little bit hard to see, but the way this works is that going to start with one sheet on one wing on the lower half of the wing, and it's attached to the spar. And then once you get it attached to the spar, you bend it along and you follow the, the ribs and then you attach it to the leading edge. And then here they have a bunch of closed pins um, to hold it to hold it on. And then it's trimmed to match the, the leading edge. And then you go ahead and put the, the next one on the, on the top. And then you do that for both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the bottom. Now, because I have a dihedral in the wing, I wanna be really careful. Let me move this over here. I'm gonna be very careful when I lay it down like this because obviously the wing is gonna be elevated in the middle. And I wanna be very careful that I don't accidentally press down on this and snap the wing in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put like a little this is a folded up towel, a lot of junk in here. I'm gonna put this towel under here to help support the wing underneath the dihedral. And um, that way it gives me a lot of cushion and helps protect the wing just in case. So let me see, let me grab one of these pieces here. And let me see what side I'm going to start on. I guess I'll start on this side over here and we'll see how it goes. Let me see move this over a little bit. Okay. All right. So if you recall, the reason I had to pin up or support to the spars when I was building the wing, had to keep it up off of the building board, was because the ribs are thicker in their um, rear portion than they are in the front portion in front of the spar. And the reason that is, is if you look at this, you see that little step right here, right? So the rib is thicker here, then it steps down and it's flush with the, with the spar and with the leading edge. And the reason that is, is because the sheeting is gonna plug into there like, just like that. So that little step right there is just to accommodate the thickness of the sheeting. So again, that's why I had to lift the spars up off of the building board when I was constructing it earlier on. I made a couple adjustments to my layout here so we can see it a little bit better. I made my towel a little bit less round because I was flopping around too much, but I think I got it in the right position now. So this first sheet's gonna go right here, and this is gonna line up along that main, basically the, the center line of the, of the wing. And then I'm just gonna tack it down at first, and then I'll go back and I'll, and I'll hit it um, with the full dose of CA once I get it sort of in the right location. So let me get this lined up here, get my gloves on and start gluing it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up so I can look down on top of this. It's gonna go right here. And I have some room to work if I do make a mistake, I could kind of bring it over a little bit and trim it back, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and line this one up right here. I'm going to hold it with my finger. And if I push this down, it's going to be just like that right there. Okay. All right, so make sure it's touching. It's kind of butted up against those ribs. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it down here, right in the middle. Get that kind of set. All 
Okay. Back here looks good. Set this one here. That. Okay. Press that down a little bit later. Then I'll go back over here. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna go ahead and check a couple more spots here. And then I will be going back and doing this more th thoroughly. I just wanna get some couple spots set really good here. Okay, I'll flip this over. Now I'm just gonna go along this kind of seam here. Okay, I'll flip this over. Now I'm just gonna go along this kind of seam here. Clamp will help me. Yeah, it's good, like that. Being wooden clothespins, I want to make sure I don't glue those on there. I think we're okay. I want to be careful because this. Can sort of dent. Careful with these clothespins. Yeah, because they're going to be denting this. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let me pull this off of here. Probably always sand those out, but I'd rather not have to mess with it. I'll just use my thumb and hold it here. So there are other ways to do this. You could set this up and one of the things the instructions recommends is put like a um, like a steel ruler down and then put weights on it and kind of hold the leading edge sheeting down on top of the spar and then glue it that way. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's many ways to do it. You can clamp it like I was just going to do but I, I don't want to dent the wood. This is relatively soft so I'd rather just kind of take my time and I'll just work my way across this and do it this way. And I can hold it. And luckily the CA goes off really quick. All right, so I'm gonna carefully kind of flex this balsa sheeting a little bit, kind of Loosen it up, if you will. I want to make sure I don't crack it. It does kind of have to bend, do kind of a quick bend here, and it should be okay. So I want to make sure. So I'm going to try and loosen it up a little bit here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some clamps on here to get us get us close. I don't think I can really avoid using these clamps to be honest with you. So if I do get a little couple little things and dents in there I'll have to sand them out and do my best. Put some of these guys on here.
Okay, now that I have these on here, I can hit it with the CA. And luckily I have the nice little applicator on this so I can get in between here. And just be careful that I, again, that I don't glue the clothespins on. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this around. So, so that when the glue flows, it flows down to the, to the spar and not down to the clothespin. All right, so here we go. Gotta be careful. And I'll go through and I'll do my little in between first. Boy, I really need to be careful here. Boy, I'm making this awkward. It's trying to trying to get it on camera. It's a little more awkward. I'll just take my time. All right, so it has a very nice it has a very nice fit. Just trying to see if I could get some of that in there, but it has a very nice meets the rib very nicely as the cheating comes around. This is a nice nice um, contact, which is good. So I'm now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to hit each one of these ribs. Now I realize again that it's easy to do this now because I don't have the other sheeting, which is going to be up on here. So when I get to this to the next sheeting, which covers this side. I'm going to be doing all well, a lot of the gluing from from inside and i don't think it's going to be a problem again i have the applicator and i'll just take my time but i just need, need to be careful i just get the easier side like this get the easier time with it when it's open but this works out really well And again, what I'm doing, you know, I'm doing it the way I feel like doing it right now. Maybe if I did this tomorrow, I would do it a little bit differently. Um, you know, as model builders, we all have to sort of take it day by day and figure out the, what works best for us. I'm also trying to get this sort of on camera so it's a little more awkward for me than it usually would be. So, we do our best, that's all I gotta say, okay. All right, so we'll let this sit for a few minutes just to make sure that everything's set up on me. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these guys off of here now. And we'll see how things turned out. All right, so looks, this looks pretty good. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna have to trim off this excess material, material right here, and then that'll make room and I can go ahead and bring the next one down. So I need to trim this off. And then one thing that I didn't show is what I, what, um, I had a problem is that if you look at the, let me put this on edge here, maybe you can see that or not. But you can see that this, that this, Rick, this square leading edge, it actually needs to be sanded down. I need to make it, the kit doesn't, the instructions don't say to do this. They just said, go ahead and glue it on there. But what I need to do is I need to sort of round off, kind of take off this, this edge right here. Because what happens is if I don't do that, the sheeting comes, comes over and there's a little, be a little bit of a gap there and it sticks out and it kind of raises the sheeting a little bit off of the leading edge. So what I needed to do on that one, which I didn't show, is I went back and I sanded it. Um, I went along it, it like this and I sanded it down. Down to just basically meet so that the bleeding edge is flush with the, the rib itself. So that's one thing I'm gonna do before I do continue on. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece here and then I'll go ahead and sand these, sand these down just so I can kind of knock off that, that kind of corner, if you will. And then that'll help the sheeting just sit nice and flush as it kind of makes this bend along the front here. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a rough cut and get this piece um, taken off. And I'm not going to try to get it right up against the rib. I'm just going to get it close and I'm going to come back and I can trim it later. But I do want to get this off of here before I do the long cut. So let's see where I am here. I'm just going to go ahead, put it right about here. Okay, that's good. Now I can kind of see where that rib is. And when I come back and trim it, I'll just be really careful. Let's flip this over this way. Yay. Never have enough room, no matter how big I make a table, never is quite big enough. Let's take this and just put it in here, give us a little bit of support. All right, so I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be close. I'm not gonna try to get it exact, not from this distance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it, kind of get it close. cut. I just take a little bit off a at a time. I can't put it back on very easily so I'm going to make sure when I take it off I'm sure. Of course I'm going to be sanding it and everything else so. Okay, so right now what I need to do is I need to just basically make it, I need to trim this down so that when the next sheet comes over, it basically, they, they kind of meet, they're gonna meet sort of like this. Makes sense, right? And then what happens is and then you sand off that edge once everything's glued on and lined up. After, after you get everything lined up and it's glued, you, then you sand off that, that, that corner, if you will, or that edge is gonna be sanded off to kind of round it off. So what I need to do is I need to go along here right now. I'm just basically cut this back and trim it back so I get a nice kind of smooth surface here. And then I can bring the next sheeting down to sort of meet it. Okay, so I worked with it a little bit and I got it close. Now you will notice that there is a little teeny gap right here, right along this kind of where this meets. But remember what's gonna happen is this is all gonna be sanded back. In fact, you know, if I could take my blade and do it right now, I would just go ahead and trim this thing kind of straight back. And actually that little gap is gonna be removed because I'm just, that little gap is basically just represents the sheet is sort of just a little bit, didn't kind of make that, com that complete bend around the tip of the leading edge but that doesn't matter because it's going to be sanded back and it's going to meet actually back back in here somewhere so that's kind of where the um the seam is going to be kind of adhered to the to the stock so that's going to go away all right so now it's time for the top sheet 
So this is going to do, this is going to work the same exact way. I'm going to line it up on here. I'm going to tack it down. I'm going to get it glued onto this main spar and then, and then just kind of wrap it down to meet the, the leading edge. I'm going to do that off camera because I don't think I need to show that, show that again, but I'll come back and we'll, um, we'll go from there. Okay. So I went and I put the top sheet on to the main spar like I did with the, the lower sheet. Now the instructions say to take a bunch of clothes pins or other clamps to kind of do what we did on the, on the, um, on the lower one and to put it on like this and then clamp it. The problem is, is that these aren't going to hook on there. They're just going to, they just slide right off. And if I had to go ahead and clamp this somehow, I would probably beat the living heck out of, out of this wood here. Now, I think there may be other ways to do this. Uh, I could probably tape it. That may be a good way to do it. I could kind of tape it over. Some people may put weights on it and try to hold it down, but I don't know how good of a, of a contact you would get by doing that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, maybe I'll do some taping to kind of get it held in place. And then I'll do what I did before is I'll just go along it and I'll just glue each section and hold it for a few seconds and let the CA set. So I'm gonna try it that way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a go. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. So, put a piece under here, bring it around. I wanna be very careful not to crack the wood do that like that. Okay. The problem with this is that I'm not going to really be able to glue it from the leading edge from this side. I'm going to have to glue it from the inside. So, hmm. Oh, this is some sticky tape I got here. I guess that's the point. All right, so let me go ahead and put this tape on here. Okay, so this actually worked out pretty good. The tape is nice and strong. I, I got some good masking tape here and I was able to kind of wrap the, the, the masking tape around and then this way and really sort of almost think of it as like sort of like it's like a strap almost. And I can see it's not, you're not gonna be able to see in here from the camera but I have a really nice contact with the rib and I can see the contact all the way down into the, into the, um, to the leading edge down there. So I have a really good contact. I think it's going to be good like this. And yeah, like I said, I may wake up tomorrow morning and say, Oh man, I could have done it this other way. But for right now, this seems like this is going to work good. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Okay. So this one I can get to on the outside here. I can get to this rib right here. That. This is gonna be the only one that's gonna be tricky is back in here. It's good. Okay, so I can just go ahead now and I can work my way from the center out and I'll just kind of hold it as I go. I'll give it a little bit of a pinch and I think we're going to be good to go. I can't really show too much of this on camera because it's down inside here, but this is going to work out good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this and work my way across. And then I'll also go in and I'll be able to hit each of the ribs on the, on the, in this portion also. Again, with the applicator, it's nice to have the applicator and it's nice that it's a thin CA. So it just runs down and, and meets, meets the, the, the joint, if you will. And it makes a good bond. Okay. So this is now has cured up, I think. 
and it worked out pretty good. I was able to get into all those joints. I will say that I do like this the Starbond brand CA. I don't know if the glue itself is any better than other CA glues, but I do like the application, um, the how it how the applicator works. It has this nice long needle kind of point on it. I mean, they all kind of have that, but it's got a nice lid that pops on, and then with the applicators, it just it just works out really nice. I don't I don't know. It's not it's not uh, anything really fancy, but it does seem to work pretty good. I am I am enjoying using this. I do have my just my plain. I don't know what brand this is. This is my local hobby brand, hobby store. Their their gap filling CA that I'm using. But yeah, I do I do. I, this is the first time I've used Starbond, and I am I do think it's um, working out pretty good. I actually did order their their thick CA just today, so I'm waiting for that to come in come in the mail. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this all this uh, masking tape off and we'll see how it ended up here. All right, so that's pretty good. And again, you are gonna see a little gap here and that's just because that's just the way that the sheets are sort of meeting up right now. That's gonna be taken care of later on when things get kind of sanded back. So, um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim this front edge like I did on this one and trim this off here. Oops, trim this off here and then do sort of a quick, kind of a quick little, little sanding on it. And then I can go ahead and put the, the sheeting on this side over here. Okay, so I went and I kind of rough sanded the leading edge and you kind of see the uh, that leading edge, this this leading edge piece here, the quarter inch stock, you can kind of see it peeking through now. Maybe you'll be able to see it on this side, show it. Maybe it'll pick up on kind of how that is. So right now, this is kind of how, this is just basically the rough sanding, kind of kind of sanded back the leading edges so that that the, or maybe, I'm sorry, we sanded back the, the sheeting to where we exposed just the tip of sort of that leading edge um, from that quarter inch stock. And then later we'll come back and we'll round this we'll round this off. The reason it's squared off right now is because this is gonna be helpful later on when we put the wing tips on. And we'll see what that means when we get to that point. So anyhow, so right now I have, obviously I have the top and bottom of the left wing sheeted leading edge sheeted and I will come back and do some sanding obviously but so my next step is going to be to go ahead and do this side and I'm going to go ahead and do this side off camera because we don't want to show that again so let me get this side done and then come back and see where we are all right so I finished the left side the left wing panel with the sheeting like I did with the previous on the right side and you can see it's all cleaned up I did take it outside and I did some sanding on it to kind of get that initial kind of rough sanding on it. But that part's done. And now I can move on to the, to the center sheeting. All right, so one thing I wanted to bring up is that I like to do my sanding and carving and shaping outside. I do that because when I'm sanding inside the garage where I work, I get a lot of dust in there. I don't like to inhale that. And um, it also is pretty messy. So it kind of cuts down on me having to clean up my, my workbench. So I like to do things outside and usually in sunlight, it's a good way to, to do that because you can really get a good um, view of your airplane when you're trying to do your sanding and shaping and such and carving. It's the best light you can possibly get. So I find that very helpful. One thing that I did also was I took a couple pictures of the end of the, of the airplane, of the, of the end of the wing to show how the sheeting kind of came together at the leading edge and you'll see in the picture and I was trying to show this I was trying to show this when I was when I was putting the the sheeting on but it was I, I felt it to be a little bit difficult to, to kind of really illustrate or show that so this picture actually shows a pretty good kind of how it all came together and you'll note again that the sheeting is sort of blocked off the the, the leading edge is sort of blocked off and you can kind of see that that leading edge spar 
just is barely peeking out in between the upper and lower sheets. And that's blocked off because that's gonna be part of the next step when I put the wing tips on, there's, there's a reason for that. But um, for right now, that's just kind of rough sanded like that. And later on, it will be rounded off like a normal, like, like the wing should be. Okay, so the final sheeting step here for the wing is to go ahead and put the center sheets on. And this is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna cut this. This is again, it's a 332 stock. And I'm gonna cut it just to basically fit across. It's gonna span the center, the center rib and it's gonna span all the way out to these two ribs um, right here. And I'm gonna go over just a little bit with it, probably about maybe eighth of an inch. I'm just gonna go right over it just a little bit more so that I can get glue on both sides and get a really good bond. And that'll be, that'll be helpful. And also because when I pressed, the way that this is gonna go in, it actually goes kind of, um, I guess, cross grain, if you will. I could put it like this and it would flex a little better, but the instructions indicate that they want you to put it in like this which means I'm gonna to have to really kind of press down on this to get it, and it's not too far. It's gonna to have to be pressed down and then it's going to be glued like that. So I just wanna have a little bit extra on both sides so when I do press it down, it doesn't slide off. So if I made it just, you know, if I made it perfect and I press down, it would kind of drag back a little bit just because I'm putting that bend in it. So anyhow, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit extra in it and that should be fine. All right, I'm gonna start with the top and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm not gonna to worry too much about measuring it perfectly gonna go a little bit over right about there my pen works there it goes and then I'm gonna mark this with my square like so and that'll be the first piece and I'm gonna cut this one first and I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna attach it and then I'll come back and I'll cut the next one I don't want to cut them both right now because if there's any kind of error I don't want to have a gap. Now all I got to do is find my exacto. There it is. And this will go right here like that. All right, for this, I'm just gonna use a thick CA and I'm just gonna hold it with my just hand pressure until it sets. It should go pretty quick and I could clamp it and maybe tape it and clamp it and do a few things like that, but I just don't think it's necessary. I'll just kind of chill out for a little bit and just hold this on here. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'll just mark it right here so I know where my glue is gonna kind of stop. And I'm just gonna put a nice healthy blob of thick CA on here. Do it on this one too. And because it's a thick CA, obviously I have time to work. You wouldn't, couldn't do this with a thin CA. Put some in here. Okay. And here we go, carefully. Okay, so I'm just gonna press down on this and hold it for a while and let it set. Should go pretty quick. All right, so that's good. I got that, that one on there now. It's nice and stiff. I had a little bit of a gap in here, so I filled it in with CA just to kind of make it look nice. Not that important. So now I can go ahead and put this next, next piece on. And... Start by just getting the same width cut. And then what I'll do is I'll mark it here probably a little bit more than I think I need it so I have a little bit of room to work just in case I make a mistake I'll mark this as my top portion and we'll see how this does okay it's got 
trim a little bit off. I like doing sheeting. I don't know. It's kind of, to me, one of the more satisfying things to do is to put sheeting on. It just seems always to kind of go kind of easy. And it always looks nice. Kind of gives the plane that nice, gives the wing and a nice kind of finished look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in like that. I can be careful when I'm pressing down on the wing that I'm not going to snap it. All right, so I'll hold this down for a few minutes. Okay. Actually, I don't know how you could do this because without just kind of holding it like this, because the way, because this is making a bend sort of against the grain, if you tried to clamp it, I think you would end up breaking it or denting it. I mean, you could, I guess you could put some kind of material kind of above sort of like where the where the bend is and then try to clamp it down but I wouldn't want to mess with that okay so let's flip this over and take a look on the inside okay all right so it looks pretty good now I can do the do the bottom now okay now for sure I really need to have this towel underneath here so when I'm pressing down on this, I don't snap the wing or hurt the wing. All right, so I think that is good. I did put a little bit of a, I had a little bit of a gap here, so I just put some baking soda in there just to fill it in, just just because. And I think this is looking pretty good. All right, so now I just have to rough sand. I mean, it's pretty much ready to be sanded, and I'm gonna probably just gonna leave it like this until I get the wing tips on, and then once the wing tips are on, then we'll start the just kind of sand everything and kind of finish up shaping the wing. But right now I can just leave it just like this and we'll be good to go. All right, so that's it for the for sheeting of the wing. As I mentioned, I really like doing the sheeting because it's one of those sort of later steps in the wing where you really start seeing the wing kind of come together. So yeah, I think it came out nice and I, and I really enjoy doing that. So the next step is going to be to put the wing tips on. That's gonna be in the next video. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching my channel and we'll see you next time.